And after over seven years of preparing, the first veterans from across the state have moved into their home at the new veterans home in Enterprise. Officials say this home will house over 170 veterans from across the state. And when they get approved by the federal VA, they'll be able to bring in over 200 employees. WDHN's Aaron Dixon has the story. Emotion swirling through the halls of Command Sergeant Benny G. Atkins Veterans Home in Enterprise. I, I really can't describe it. it. It's hard to describe. I mean, there were chill bumps, tears, excitement. Just it, it was a real heartfelt while yesterday while they were coming in. As the first seven veterans from across the state moved into the Veterans Home that officially opened up last month after nearly seven years of waiting. See a seven year pro project finally come to full circle. It was, it's almost indescribable. Where good reviews are already coming in. To see the gratefulness, it's so heartfelt and sincere coming from them and, and the staff are the exact same way. We are truly honored and grateful to be here to serve them. The 182,000 square foot skilled nursing facility will house 174 residents and six wings and be equipped with private rooms, amenities like a sports bar, library, chapel, and a fleet of buses that will take these vets into the city. Construction on the nursing facility began in late 2021 and was completed around July of this year, marking the fifth veterans home in the state. Even though just seven veterans have officially moved in, that number will grow to 20 by the end of the month. And then following approval by the federal VA, the remaining residents can move in and the staff will increase. We will be in full swing. The staff with HMR will grow overnight tremendously with that as well as the resident admissions will. Already a waiting list is building of veterans wanting to move in. Wise says they will work through that list and then start to move in veterans who are out in the public that need the home services. If a veteran is interested in applying, they can visit the Alabama Department of Veteran Affairs website and select the Enterprise Home when turning in the application. An application for only the Enterprise Home will be open by the end of the month. In Enterprise, Aaron Dixon, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.